I do believe in the motto, if you fail to plan, you need to plan to fail because things need to be planned out. Hi, ladies and girls, it is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back over and over again. It is another video. It is 2018 and I'm so excited because we have some goals. We have some aspirations and I just want to come and let you know that it is a new beginning, you guys. I am really big on numbers and number eight means new beginning. I'm so excited. December 8th is my birthday. So you know I know what the eighth means and that means new beginning. I am so excited about 2018. Let's jump into some of my goals, but don't forget, I'll just ask you ahead of time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And if you're an OG, you know how we roll. But thanks so much for coming back in 2018 and meet me right back here at the same place. Yes. Um, before I get into my goals, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know where your goals are. I would love, love, love to know. I do have quite a few goals that I want to talk about. So let's get straight into this video. <coughs> One of my favorite goals um, that I have for 2018 is to really get down and just get get my grind on. You know what I mean? I just need to gr rise and grind, rise and shine and grind. OK, that is my motto. I'm just all about about I'm all about getting things done this year. One of the main things I have really, really been thinking about is saving more money. And y'all know I was in that mode towards the end of the year. Actually, I was more so towards the um, the middle part of the year when I was like, uh, Project Pan is going to save me $10,000. Yeah, I still believe that. And so I am going to still use the motto, let's save 10K, hashtag let's save 10K, okay? And we are still on that bandwagon. I, I am not jumping off of that because we need to save some money. I am currently on a no buy for the first three months. And I feel like it's kind of like a financial detox it's a mental detox because I'm just like really wanting to get my health together. This is something that I've learned about me is that I like to voice my goals, but to give specifics, I just want to get down on the grind and just make it happen. It's great to talk about things and it's great to write them down. And I definitely have my goals written down for sure. But when it comes to talking and sharing them, sharing them with people, I just like I've learned that if I'm one of those people that just have to shut up and do it. So, um, yeah, I feel like being about it and doing it is better than talking about it. So I'm definitely going to put my head to the grind. I do have a plan in terms of my health, and that is to reduce my portion sizes, increase my exercising by exercising two to three times a week. And really, that is just starting off with walking. And then I really want to get into running um, back again and also uh, reducing the portions, exercising and just a really having a routine. I am joining a gym. We are not faking that anymore because I think thinking that I could do that at home is just not going to work. That's just a downright truth so sisters getting a 24-hour fitness uh membership my family wants to do some traveling so i definitely want to do that we're going to do some staycations i do have a video on my vlog channel you guys if you want to check that out i talked about eight lists that you should accomplish in 2018 that's 64 tasks 64 tasks that you would get done if you do eight lists with eight things under those lists that's 64 so i'm really excited because one of those lists was eight places that i want to go and then eight books that i want to read i also have eight habits that i want to break eight habits that i want to make and i also talked about eight things um wait i also talked about eight health recipes. I want some quick go-to meals that I can just make because when those are not readily available, y'all know what you want to do. You want to hit the fast food. Okay. And that's definitely what I want to do, but I am cutting out eight items out of my diet. I kind of like do it like that just because I don't know, I'm goal oriented. And when I can think of things like that, it doesn't seem so big to me. And so I do have a health goal, eight things that I'm going to do. 
in terms of my health, whether that's drinking more water, which I definitely want to do. I am starting a gym. I'm also doing some other things. But like I said, I, I don't know, doing those eight uh, lists uh, and making, you know, to accomplish 64 things out of the year, I think that's going to be awesome. But I definitely want to save money. I do have a goal of wanting to completely finish off paying off my car. I'm so excited about that. And yeah, uh, those, you know, I just wanted to kind of give an overview of my goals and hear out with you guys, uh, with you guys, what goals you have. In terms of my YouTube channel, I definitely want to grow my channel and um, also make content that you guys love to watch as well as what I want to make. Uh, I did do a new series on my channel called Maintenance Mondays. I'm so excited about that, you guys. I will link it over here so you guys can check it out, but it'll explain what I plan to do in terms of Maintenance Mondays. I am so excited because I'm coming with hair vlogs. I'm coming with, you know, you guys following me in the studio. I just want to make some big moves this year, okay? I do believe in the motto, if you fail to plan, you need to plan to fail because Things need to be planned out. I definitely believe in writing down my dreams. I hope you guys are writing down the ones that you love and the things that you want to do. If there's a place that you want to go, map it out. Find out how much it's going to cost. See what your budget is going to allow you to do. And then if you don't have the budget for it, see if there's any other way of revenue that you can make. Maybe you have a craft that people really enjoy. Maybe it's something that you can do to earn some extra money. Maybe you can tutor somebody, but you know what? Make it happen, you guys. And you know what? We only get to live one life. We do. You do. I watched that movie Jumanji, and that's one of the things, you know, we always talk about um, if you watch or if you've played video games, you know, you have like three or four lives. And that's one of the things that I loved is that they talked about only having one life to live and making sure that it's to the fullest. So, yeah, let's get it done in 2018, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you are accomplishing in 2018, you guys, because you can do it. Let's make it happen, you guys. Let's rise, shine, and grind. Peace. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, lovey.